Welcome to Torcron. If you're a traveler and love nature, then you're in the right place. Please subscribe to us and press that bell icon. In this video, we're taking you on a wild ride through the heart of Africa, and trust me, you're in for a treat. We're talking African safaris, where nature at its raw and the wildlife steals the show. Imagine cruising through the endless Serengeti or getting lost in the breathtaking Kruger National Park. We're talking elephants doing their thing, lions owning the place, and flamingos pulling off the ultimate dance moves against the most epic sunsets you've ever seen. Before we start the video, we want to hear from you. What's your dream African safari destination? And which animal would you be most excited to encounter in the wild? Drop your comments below and let's share our safari dreams. These are our picks for the top 20 safaris to visit in Africa. Atosha National Park, located in northern Namibia. It is one of Africa's chief wildlife reserves, covering 22,270 square kilometers. In the center of the park is the Atosha Pan, a salt pan that characterizes the land around it and determines the ecosystem. The Atosha Pan is visible from space and it has phase transformation during the dry season when it's a clear white, offering fantastic scenery to the park's rich biodiversity. Atosha Park is well known for its diverse wildlife, making it a destination for nature lovers and photographers. The abundance of wildlife is found around artificial water points that scatter around the park. Water holes become fantastic spots for visitors as animals concentrate on drinking water, mating, and socializing. The park is a natural viewpoint for observing the interaction between predators and prey. Atosha Park's vegetation cover adds to its spectacular landscape, including grasslands that transform during the rainy season into a green paradise that attracts birds. Etosha National Park is a true definition of the rich African wildlife and ecosystem, offering visitors a superb experience in the heart of Africa. The unique wildlife, beautiful scenery, and distinctive seasonal changes make Etosha a place everyone would want to visit for an authentic safari experience in South Africa. Addo Elephant National Park Located in the eastern part of Cape Province of South Africa is a true evidence of successful conservation, hard work that commenced in 1931 to safeguard the elephants in the region. The park has grown immensely as a conservation reserve and is now ranked third in South Africa. The initial objective of protecting elephants has significantly expanded to encompass a vast ecosystem, making it a multifaceted point for nature lovers. Addo Elephant National Park has its name in the books due to its role as a home for African elephants. The park has played a major role in preserving African elephants that are facing extinction threats. Beyond its obligation to safeguard elephants, Addo Park is a rich ecosystem that is home to an array of flora and fauna, making the park a good site for whoever is willing to explore its huge expanse. The conservation effect is felt beyond only terrestrial life and includes marine life. The park plays a role in conserving one of the endangered African penguins. Visitors' movements from the nearby Port Elizabeth town is facilitated by boats that also offer a good opportunity for visitors to see marine wildlife such as dolphins. Addo Elephant National Park has artificial water holes that are scattered throughout the entire park. These water holes and hides provide visitors a great opportunity to view wildlife as they gather at the water source. The park's design offers a site for predator, prey, and visitor interaction, leaving them with an authentic safari experience. Okavango Delta, a park with unique hydrology and biodiversity located in the northern part of Botswana, is a true description of the wonders of nature. The Akavanga River forms the Akavanga Delta Park. This delta creates a unique channel of lagoons and the conservative river deltas that flow into the sea. The Akavanga River's track to the Kalahari Desert creates an oasis of life, making the Akavanga Delta the largest inland delta globally. This characteristic of hydrology describes the landscape 
providing the visitor with a captivating blend of wildlife and water in the desert. At the core of the Akavanga Delta's allure is its exceptional biodiversity. The diverse ecosystems of the Delta provide a sanctuary for a wide collection of wildlife and bird species. The presence of fauna and flora climaxes the complex interconnectedness of the Delta's ecosystems. The water-based typography of the Okavanga Delta gives visitors a distinctive experience. Visitors are guided to walk the park environment on foot, making them feel a sense of adventure. The Okavanga Delta experiences seasonal shifts. Wildlife concentrates around water holes during the dry season as water shortage hits the park. In contrast, during the rainy season, the park paradise, with green vegetation and migratory bird life, provides visitors with a unique experience. In 2014, the Akavanga Delta was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site status. This recognition highlighted the Delta's position in maintaining ecological balances and supporting a diverse range of flora and fauna. The Akavanga Delta serves as a premier destination for those seeking an authentic and memorable encounter with the African wilderness. Masai Mara National Park Located in Kenya and is famous for wildebeest migration, wildlife, and savanna, the reserve part of the Serengeti ecosystem plays a key role in supporting diverse ecosystems and sustaining the only natural events on the planet. The park is extremely rich in biodiversity, home to a range of wildlife and serves as the prime location to view the Big Five. The park is characterized by the unique mass migration of wildebeest that happens yearly from Tanzania's Serengeti Crossing into Mara National Park in search of pasture. The Mara River is an iconic challenge to the wildlife in the journey as crocodiles lie in wait while the river banks are also occupied with predators. The Maasai Mara is home to the Maasai community that exists with wildlife. They are famous worldwide for their unique culture, distinctive clothing, and pastoralist lifestyle. Some lodges and camping units within the park provide a unique cultural experience, giving visitors a chance to interact with people, learn a bit of their dialect, and gain insight into how they coexist with the land animals. The Maasai Mara National Reserve provides a variety of safari experiences such as drives and hot air balloons. Masai Mara National Reserve is the premier symbol of Africa's natural glory, providing wildlife, spectacular landscapes, and cultural richness. Gorongoru Crater, a UNESCO World Heritage Geological Marvel site located in northern Tanzania. The park is famous for its rich ecosystem, landscape, and wildlife. The crater is the largest volcanic caldera formed due to collapsing of volcanoes in the world. Gorongoro Crater encloses an ecosystem with incredible confinement of animals. It provides an ideal setting for visitors to witness a wide array of species, including the Big Five. The Gorongoro Crater is famous for its high density of predators and it offers an opportunity for wildlife enthusiasts to observe these animals in their natural environment. Birds also are attracted by the Salt Lake Magadi in the crater. Gorongoru Crater has a cultural value also. The Maasai community, lodgers, and camp in the Gorongoru Conservation Area offer cultural experience and provide visitors an opportunity to learn the Maasai dialect. Visitors to the Gorongoru Crater also get to enjoy various games and activities that enable them to have unique encounters with wildlife. The Crater Rim offers panoramic views of the caldera, creating stunning vistas that showcase the natural splendor of this geological wonder. Gorongoru Crater is evidence of the wonders of nature, a blend of geological importance and ecological diversity. The presence of the Big Five and the Maasai cultural richness make Gorongoru an integral and captivating destination within Tanzania's tours. Lake Apia Plateau, located in Kenya, offers a blend of wildlife conservation, landscapes, and sweet coexistence between communities and nature. Lake Apia is famous for its biodiversity, conservation obligation, 
that has ensured the existence of the wildlife population. Saving on the Lake Apia Plateau is a defined approach involving the local, private sector, and conservation bodies working together to ensure the protection of the region's heritage nature. The plateau is inhabited by a diverse array of wildlife such as the Big Five, mammals, birds, and plant life that thrive in its varied landscapes. The Lake Apia Plateaus play a vital role in providing a corridor for wildlife movement, connecting ecosystems, and enhancing seasonal migrations. Lake Apia Plateaus are rich in cultural tapestry brought by the indigenous communities including the Maasai, Samburu, and Lake Payak, who practice traditional pastoralist lifestyles in the landscape. The unique coexistence between people and wildlife fostered a model of sustainable development that prioritizes both the well-being of the locals and nature. Visitors to the Lake Apia Plateau can take part in various gaming activities, from guided game drives and bushwalks to interactions with local communities. Lodges and conservancies offer unique insights into the region's conservation efforts and cultural heritage. The plateau's vast open spaces give visitors an authentic safari experience, allowing them to connect with nature in a way that is both serene and transformative. The Lake Apia Plateau is a true example of fruitful conservation practices and the coexistence of wildlife with local communities, making it an endpoint for those seeking a holistic and sustainable safari experience in Kenya. Queen Elizabeth National Park Queen Elizabeth National Park is famous for its diverse ecosystem-rich biodiversity. It is located in southwestern Uganda. The park is estimated to cover 1,978 square kilometers, and it was named after Queen Elizabeth II. The distinctive feature of the park is the scenic beauty of the landscapes it encompasses. Queen Elizabeth National Park is the best point for wildlife enthusiasts. The biodiversity within Queen Elizabeth National Park is unique, creating a destination for visitors in Uganda. The park is inhabited by the Big Five animals, making it the most visited park in the country. The Ishasha sector in the southern part of the park is famous for tree climbing lions, a unique behavior that's rarely observed. The park's also a haven for bird watchers with over 600 bird species. The natural waterway that connects Lake George to Lake Edward and the Kazinga Channel is a focal point for wildlife viewers who get to enjoy the rich aquatic life of the water channel. Queen Elizabeth National Park is known for its historical and cultural significance. The Valley of the Apes is inhabited by a vast population of chimpanzees, providing a unique experience for the primate enthusiast. The cultural richness of the region is also enhanced by the indigenous communities of the Bakanzo and Basangora people who have traditional connections to the land. The effortless conservation aim of Queen Elizabeth National Park has struck a pivotal balance between wildlife and human activities. The Queen Elizabeth National Park is evidence of Uganda's commitment to conservation and biodiversity, making it a captivating destination for those seeking a unique tour experience in the heart of the Albertine Rift Valley. Manipools National Park a UNESCO World Heritage Site famous for its landscape, wilderness, and unguided walk safaris. It's located in the northern part of Zimbabwe along the Zambezi River. The most unique feature of Manipools is the eponymous oxbow lakes that are created when River Zambezi overflows its banks. The pools or oxbow lakes become a savior for animals during the dry season as wildlife concentrates within the lake vicinity for water. The Manipools Park is home to a variety of wildlife species and bird life. Manipools National Park's commitment to allowing visitors to explore the park, Parkhoot, gives them a unique experience of encountering animals in their natural environment. The Manipools Park is home to over 350 bird species. The combination of riverine and woodland creates a suitable habitat for birds, making it an endpoint for bird enthusiasts. 
Manipools is not only a haven for wildlife, but also a site of archaeological and cultural significance. The region has evidence of human habitation dating back thousands of years, with ancient tools and artifacts providing insights into the area's history. The park is also home to communities that have lived in harmony with the land for generations. Manipools National Park advocates for sustainable wildlife protection and tourism. UNESCO recognized it as a World Heritage Site due to its commitment to conserving the ecological balance of the Zambezi Valley and ensuring its ecosystem continuity. Manipools National Park offers a distinct safari experience for those seeking an authentic and adventurous encounter with African wildlife. Sabi Sand Game Reserve Located in the Pumalanga province of South Africa is an iconic safari destination famous for its diverse wildlife. Sabi Sand borders Kruger National Park and covers an area of over 65,000 hectares. The game reserve is well known for its high density of wildlife. Sabi Sand is celebrated for its leopard viewing, providing opportunities for visitors to observe these huge cats in their natural habitat. The presence of experienced park guides and animal trackers offers a high success rate in wildlife encounters, giving visitors the best safari experience. What sets Sabi Sand apart is its dedication to providing an exclusive and luxurious safari experience. The park has a diverse collection of lodges that offer the best facilities and are also located strategically in the heart of the park providing a good wildlife viewing experience. Sabi Sand is committed to responsible tourism and conservation. Lodges and caps within the park get involved in ecosystem conservation initiatives, which include the protection of the park's systems and the coexistence of the locals and animals. A blend of perennial rivers and savannas describes the landscape of Sabi Sand. The Sabi Sand ecosystem is rich in flora and fauna. The Sand River is a life-giving source that ensures the presence of wildlife throughout the year, creating a viewing point for visitors. Sabi Sand Game Reserve is a good definition and stands as a friendly coexistence of luxury and nature conservation. Sabi Sand's commitment to protection and good accommodation makes it a good destination for those looking for an upscale safari experience while donating to the preservation of Africa's iconic ecosystems. South Luangwa National Park Covering 9,050 square kilometers is Africa's finest safari destination located in eastern Zambia. It is famous for its diverse ecosystem and the Luangwa River, which meanders through its heart. South Luangwa is an iconic park in Parkambia and the endpoint for nature enthusiasts and photographers. The most remarkable feature of South Luangwa Park is the biodiversity that includes a variety of habitats, riverine woodland, and grassy plains. During the dry season, animals concentrate along the riverbanks, offering visitors amazing view opportunities. South Luangwa National Park is famous for its predator-dominant population. The park is also well known for its walking safaris that allow tourists to see the wilderness guided by experienced guides. The Luangwa River and its oxbow lagoons are a habitat for vast species of birds, making the park a bird watcher's paradise. The South Luangwa National Park is home to over 400 bird species. Some of the famous birds are the iconic African fish eagle and colorful bee eaters. South Luangwa National Park commits itself to involving the community and sustainable tourism. Many camps in the park also pride themselves on their commitment to community involvement and sustainable tourism practices. Many camps and lodges within the park involve the locals, bringing about awareness, community growth, and conservation of natural resources. This approach has ensured that the benefits of tourism are also felt by the local community, fostering a sense of commitment towards protecting the park. Moremi Game Reserve 
home to most of the endangered species of large mammals. The Maremi Game Reserve is a stunning location found right on the Kwai River in northern Botswana. It's the perfect family destination and also has one of the richest ecosystems in Africa. Although the reserve is just less than 5,000 kilometers in extent, with its Mopane woodland, acacia forest, floodplains, and lagoons, the reserve is surprisingly diverse. Only about 30% of the reserve is mainland, and when it comes to the variety of flora and fauna that you can find in the Moremi Game Reserve, you will probably never stop being amazed by it all. The twittering of the birds will convert anyone into a bird enthusiast. With over 500 species of magnificent birds, some of which are the slaty egret and wattled cranes, there is no better way to begin a safari day than to see and hear the orchestra of these birds. Moremi is like a haven for endangered species of big mammals. You'll spot creatures here that you never dreamed of seeing. Picture African wild dogs, black and white rhinos, cheetahs and lions just casually hanging out. It's nature showing off its best, often dubbed the Garden of Eden. Elephants, hippos, buffaloes and giraffes splashing around in lagoons, leopards and wild dogs playing hide and seek in lush forests, and cheetahs dragging their meals up trees. It's a wildlife paradise. Moremi is that untouched slice of nature where you'd expect to find all these wonders. Feel free to visit the Moremi Game Reserve anytime, but if you want that full wildlife spectacle, plan your trip between July and October. Not so much the January to March period. It's the wet season and some spots could be off limits. You wouldn't want your adventure to hit a soggy roadblock, would you? Kalahari Game Reserve Established in 1961, the Kalahari Game Reserve is an extensive national park located in the Kalahari Desert of Botswana. It's not just huge, it's the second largest reserve globally, and it wears the crown of the most remote one in southern Africa. We're talking a whopping 52,000 square kilometers of untamed beauty. Now let's talk residents. Rhinos? Check. Black maned lions? Absolutely. Throw in some desert-adapted elephants and a bunch of other unique critters and you've got yourself a wildlife party. But here's the thing, it's so vast that spotting these creatures might feel like a quest. Not impossible though. Head up north where the action tends to concentrate, especially in a magical place called Deception Valley. That's where the cool predators hang out. Spotted in brown hyenas, cheetahs, wild dogs, and the elusive leopards. But wait, there's more. In this animal extravaganza, expect jackals, honey badgers, and the African wildcat, zebras, bat-eared foxes, and even giraffes doing their thing. Kalahari Game Reserve, where the wild things roam and your safari dreams will come to life. Now, forget what you've heard about avoiding safaris from January to April in other parts of Botswana during the rainy season. You see, when it comes to the Kalahari Game Reserve, that's actually the golden time to go. We call it the green season, and it's like a party for all kinds of animals. Plus, it's baby central. Loads of newborns entering the scene, making it a real-life animal baby shower. So here's the deal. If you're a safari rookie, the Kalahari might be a bit like diving into the deep end. Why? Well, it's massive, and you won't find animal clusters like you will in smaller reserves. So if you're expecting a wildlife parade, you might find it a tad less flashy. Stick to the smaller ones for your first safari thrill, and then graduate to the Kalahari for the ultimate wild adventure. Chobe National Park Located in northern Botswana and described as the park with some of the highest game densities in all of Africa, many things make this national park unique compared to others, and one of them is the up-close and personal experience you will get with the animals that have made this park their home. The Chobe National Park was named after the majestic and dazzling blue Chobe River, whose sight will leave you breathless. The river protects over 10,000 kilometers of the northern Kalahari Desert, and it provides a wilderness and game density that is remarkable. The National Park is also famous for its massive elephant population, big herds of buffalo, and incredible wildlife. Visiting this destination will give you a once-in-a-lifetime experience because there's no other place you'll find an amazing riverfront, bustling wildlife, undisturbed predators, heavenly landscapes, and tranquil lodges all in the same place. 
Now, who's invited? Everyone. Families, lovebirds, safari rookies, and Africa travel veterans, no matter your vibe. Chobe National Park has your nature fix covered. It's not just a park. It's an adventure waiting for everyone to dive in and soak up the best of what nature has to offer. Savo West National Park, a beautiful rugged wilderness that consists of open grasslands, scrublands, acacia woodlands, and rocky ridges. It is the second largest national park in Kenya and offers some of the most magnificent game viewing in the world. The park is known as the land of lava springs, man-eaters, and magical sunsets. Yeah, you heard that right. The man-eaters part is legit, thanks to some wild history with lions in the colonial era. But hold on, there's more to this park than its intriguing past. Beyond the drama, Savo West is a wildlife wonderland with over 50 million gallons of crystal clear water hiding under parched lava rocks. It's like a secret stash, and you can get a front row seat at Mazima Springs which is a great place for sightseeing, not only in Kenya, but in all of Africa. You see, the Savo West National Park is one where you can truly experience the fascination of the African wilderness, and it has even been referred to as the true wilderness of Africa. Here you'll find large herds of African big game, such as lions, leopards, black and white rhinos, yellow baboons, hyenas, impalas, cheetahs, elephants, buffalo, giraffes, and many others. The park also has a record of over 400 bird species, including rare birds. Another amazing feature of the park is that no matter what time of the year you swing by, your experience is equally breathtaking. Amboseli National Park Formerly known as Maasai Amboseli Game Reserve, Amboseli National Park is a national park located in Kajiado County in southern Kenya. It's famous for being the best place in the world to get close to free-ranging elephants and also view Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the highest freestanding mountain in the world. The park is 392 kilometers square and is dominated by acacia woodland, rocky and thorny bush, and swamps marshland. The national park is home to about 80 different species of animals, including elephants, buffalo, impalas, lions, and zebras. There are also about 400 different species of birds, including the African swamp hen, lesser flamingos, and the grander ones, too. And because of its size, Amboseli National Park can be fully explored in a day or two. So if you're craving a taste of the safari life, but time's playing hard to get, this might just be your jackpot. It's not just a time saver, it's a gem for safari rookies and first timers to Kenya. Terengire National Park. Located in northern Tanzania, Terengire National Park is the sixth largest in the country and the most famous for its large elephant herds. Imagine herds with up to 300 of these gentle giants just casually hanging out. Apart from elephants, the mini wildlife migration, the park witnesses is another reason why it's so popular. From June to November every year, the area has its dry season, and the only source of water becomes the Tarangir River in the National Park. And because of this, a somewhat large number of animals can be seen moving from other areas to the park to be closer to the water. The sight of these animals migrating is truly breathtaking and paints the perfect picture of nature at its best. Some of the animals you can expect to see include wildebeest, elephants, gazelles, zebras, buffaloes, and even lions. At the Tarangir National Park, you can also expect to see up to 545 species of birds, and these are only the ones that have been identified. Apart from admiring the animals, you can also engage in game driving, walking tours, and fly camping safaris. Mak Gadik Gadi Pans National Park. This park can be found south of the Zai Pan National Park in Botswana, and with its huge salt pans, it has an impressive landscape. The name Mak Gadik Gadi means vast lifeless land, and the park is well known for offering solitude and silence. If you lead a quiet life or you just love quiet vacations, this place might be paradise to you, because even during the high season, fellow explorers are scarce here. Now, why do people flock here? 
It's not just for the impressive animal variety. It's about soaking in peace, embracing solitude, feeling the remoteness, and admiring the raw beauty of this national park. During the rainy season, December to March, turns the place into a wildlife spectacle. Zebras, oryx, wildebeest, and impalas form these massive herds. Oh, and after that first raindrop, flamingos join the party, turning the salt pans into a breeding hotspot. Due to the absence of a source of water, the area surrounding the park does not have inhabitants. But hey, that just means when you visit, you get the place all to yourself. Talk about exclusive, right? Timing is everything. If you're planning to trip to this national park, circle June, July, September, or October on your calendar. Why? Because that's when the salt pans turn into a dry wonderland that you can easily explore. Quick heads up. The region of the Magadikari National Park is in the malaria zone. So before you embark on your adventure, arm yourself against mosquitoes. Wanj National Park, formerly known as Wanky Game Reserve, the Wanj National Park is the largest natural reserve in Zimbabwe. The park is located in the West Zimbabwe and is also the largest and most popular park in the country. Wanj National Park offers excellent wildlife viewing, and most big safari animals can be seen, including elephants, lions, and African wild dogs. In fact, the National Park is well known for its impressive concentration of elephants that are attracted to the park's waterholes during the dry season. They are estimated to be about 40,000 tusker elephants at the Wanj National Park. You see, Wanj isn't just a park, it's like Africa's best kept secret. Imagine a safari where it's just you, the wild, and over 100 mammal species, plus almost 400 bird species. It's basically a nature lover's dream come true. Now, if birds are your jam, time your visit right. November to April, where migratory birds return for a reunion from Europe and Northern Africa. But if you're all about catching the big wildlife party, July to October is that golden ticket. It's the dry season and the animals flock the water holes, creating a spectacle you won't want to miss. Kruger National Park, decidedly the largest wildlife sanctuary in South Africa, world-renowned Kruger National Park is home to more species of large mammals than any other African game reserve. The National Park is rated as the ultimate safari experience and is the flagship of South Africa's national parks. The Kruger National Park covers almost 2 million hectares of land and is actually larger than Israel. Because of its large size, the park has different landscapes including grassy plains, thick mopane thickets, and baobab trees. And when it comes to the variety of animals, the Kruger National Park is home to many different animals including the Big Five and others such as lions, cheetahs, hyenas, leopards, and elephants. You'll also come across different rivers around the park where you'll find crocodiles and hippos. The Kruger National Park is also great for bird watching, and the best place to enjoy the activity of bird watching is from one of the camp hides. No matter what time of the year you choose to travel to the Kruger National Park, you'll have an amazing experience, with each season offering different novelties. Summer? That's baby animal and bird central. Winter? Picture cooler days and chilly nights, but the upside? It's like nature's magic trick, thinning out the bush for an all-around game-viewing spectacle. And here's the golden rule. Disappointment? Nowhere in sight. Kruger National Park is like the VIP pass to a wildlife experience that's off the charts, no matter when you roll in. Serengeti National Park, a World Heritage Site in Tanzania that is bustling with wildlife. There are over 2 million ungulates, 4,000 lions, 1,000 leopards, and about 500 species of birds. If Africa's natural wildlife had a poster child, Serengeti National Park would be it. It's like this untouched wilderness where animals just do their thing in epic numbers. Now, why is it the A-lister of wildlife movies? because it's the cradle of human life and the closest you'll get to African nature in its purest form. I mean, look at this beauty. There's nowhere else on the planet where you'll find such a crazy number of animals just living their best lives. And that's why Serengeti steals the spotlight in countless wildlife movies. 
The Serengeti National Park is very famous, mainly because it's home to the Great Migration, often called one of Earth's last true wonders. The Great Migration is like an annual migration of vast herds of herbivores to permanent water holes tagged along by their predators. It is one of the most impressive natural events in the world, and lots of people travel to the Serengeti just to witness it. And the river crossings? They're spectacular. Sadly, they're like the celebrity appearances at an award show, short and sweet, usually lasting only 30 minutes. Blink, and you might miss it. But hey, even if you don't catch the river drama or mega herds migrating, Serengeti's got more tricks up its sleeve. The skies here, a masterpiece of dazzling colors. And if you're feeling it, you can spend your entire time just staring at the heavens. So the bottom line, Serengeti National Park is your playground, and there are zero limits to what you can see and do. And that's a wrap. Drop a comment and spill the beans on which of these amazing places you're hitting up first. If you had a good time watching, give this video a thumbs up, and hey, hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. Oh, and ding that notification bell to stay in the loop on our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.